planning to hike again. I don't know where I'm thinking somewhere kind of different. Maybe France. So I've been doing a little bit of research and I think I found the place. It's a little bit left field, but I'm going to hike Scotland. <laughs> kind of strange when you're traveling on your own there's no schedule or you don't have to do what anyone else needs to do or wants to do so I've just been walking around the empty airport Edinburgh is so gorgeous it's like something out of a movie So I am currently in Scotland. <laughs> I think this guy is willing to give me a lift to the border. <laughs> Scottish National Trail. So in a strange turn of events, we are now in a fancy hotel room. I was walking along a really overgrown section of trail and I stepped on a branch and it broke and flung up and hit me in the face <laughs> and I thought I had permanently blinded myself. So I went down to the houses and I knocked on the door and luckily someone was home. Jane drove me 35 minutes to the hospital and sat in the waiting room the entire time with me. I don't know what I would have done without them and I'm shaking. Anyway. The kindness of strangers never ceases to amaze. Back on trail tomorrow. <laughs> is my first proper overseas trip solo and it's been a humbling experience so far. I've been so anxious since the moment I landed that I've been really struggling to stomach any food at all. This cycle where I just get more anxious because I feel unwell. I I can't help but feel a little bit guilty because not everyone gets to experience this and not everyone can just take a month off of work and afford to go travel overseas on their own and I feel like I'm wasting it in some ways. I slept in like a park. I slept in a big field last night. Hey, the pub I was trying to get to closed. We've resupplied. I set my 
yourself up with a three course meal. So my really relaxed day turned into a marathon day. <laughs> a huge freaking day. feverish, just not been feeling the best the past few days, and nauseous, crying again, <laughs> and getting a little worried that maybe I've gotten sick. Don't want to finish, <laughs> but I know I'll be disappointed in myself if I don't. <laughs> I hopped off trail. And I was surrounded by the most beautiful views and it just didn't feel like it mattered because I just wasn't feeling happy. So I've booked myself a couple of flights and I'm going to take the pressure off and just walk around and um, yeah, I think I'm finally excited. <laughs> Copenhagen. Uh, I just got in and the first thing I did was just come to the park so that I could sit down and get myself organised. I stumbled across a free jewellery making course and the girls there were so lovely I ended up having a cup of coffee with one of them and just chatting for like an hour. I may not be hiking anymore, but today has been such a lovely day. Food, oh my god, very neat. I honestly feel like I could live in this city. Maybe I wouldn't say the same in winter. <laughs> Hello from Amsterdam. I was just having a lovely dinner and these guys invited me to get gelato. So one of the guys from dinner has invited me to a concert. Um, we're going to Harry Styles. <laughs> so I just got an emergency alert on my phone. It wasn't in English, so I didn't know what it meant. I'm really hoping it's just a test. London is our final stop. This time has gone way too fast. I'll be back in Europe. 